What's your reply? There's something odd about this selection menu. Odd? None of the choices let me say no. Oh, you're just imagining things. But... Well, so what's your choice? I've never been asked to make a decision that didn't have two real choices before. Oh, really? Well, tough patooties, because I'm the heroine from now on. And since we're playing by my rules, what I say goes. Got it? Man, who is this girl? You're surprisingly picky for a man, worrying about all those pointless little details. Ugh. Quit being such a sourpuss and just tell me what you want to do. Look, I need to have the choice to refuse here. This could be a very dangerous journey for you, all right? Besides, Reyna and I, we aren't what you think. Oh, so her name's Reyna. Hmm. Are you listening to me? Come on now, out with the truth. All right, sheesh. If you really don't want me along that much, then fine. Look, that's not the problem here. Not only are you the densest man in the world, but now you're even making girls cry. I'm not making you cry. I'm never going to talk to you ever again. <laughs> Anyone starting to cry here, it's me.
awesome. I'm quite happy with this. Excellent.
So this is Linga? Hold it. Hold it. Hold it! Ah! Look out! What is that thing? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Just stop for a second! Goodness, what was that? What's a machine doing in a place like this? Machine? What's that? What's wrong, Claude? Oh, man! Failed again! My dad's gonna laugh at me again. I just know it. Hey, you there! Are you okay? You aren't hurt or anything, are you? Oh! Uh... <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. This is, like, totally normal. I break more things before 8 a.m. than most people break all day. I don't think that's exactly how it goes, but anyway, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, by the way, do you know where my Robbie went? Your... Robbie? Yeah, you know, the guy that ran by just now. Oh, you mean that remote control toy? I think it went that way. Ah, uh, dang! I better catch him before he goes too far. Hey, wait a sec! Thanks for checking up on me. See ya, folks. The girl's like a tornado. I don't know. I thought she was kind of cute. Oh, really? That's what you like in a girl, huh, Ashton? Well, I, uh, I didn't mean anything like that, Raina.
We've met before, haven't we? Do you need something? Yeah, there's something I wanted to ask you. Oh, you're interested in me that way, aren't you? Sounds good to me. I'm free all year. No, 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 that's not what I meant. Gosh, you didn't have to deny it so strongly. That's just rude. I, uh, uh sorry. Ah, uh, that's all right. So, what did you need? I'm interested in that thing you have there, actually. This thing? That's an RC car, isn't it? An RC what? Come on, that name's stupid. His name's Robbie, okay? Hmm, I guess Robbie isn't much better either, now that I think of it. No, it's fine. You think? Well, super, I really like that name myself. You know, that R sound, Rob, 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 Robbie. So, um, you're interested in Robbie? Huh? You know, this guy here. You like him? Well, I guess so. I mean, it looks exactly like an RC car, after all. I don't know what an RC car is, but I'm glad you like Robbie. That means you and I will get along pretty well. Listen, you want to come to my house sometime and have something to drink? I've got all kinds of other neat stuff I made that I could show you. Are you sure? And I'm not trying to ask you on a date, okay? Uh, right. Super then. My name is Priestess. Priestess F. Newman. Glad to meet you. Oh, my name is Claude. Claude C. Kenny. Hmm, well, nice to meet you, Claude. Claude, I was wondering, how old are you? I'm 19 this year. We're only three years apart then. No worries there. What do you mean? What do you think I mean? Claude, that blue-haired girl who is with you? Is she your girlfriend? Wh what No! Hmm, I see. This is your house? Uh-huh. Cool. Come on in! This way. Thank you. Oh, Reina? What are you doing here, Claude? Oh, Dad, if you're gonna be bringing cute chicks to the house, at least give me some advance warning. What are you talking about? You're the one bringing strange men in and out. You know, you could at least try to be a little more discreet about it. Um... Wow, so this thing caught your eye too, huh, Reyna? Yes, it did. Well, you know what they say. Sooner or later, true genius always gets recognized for the genius it is. Yeah, shame that usually doesn't happen until long after the creator's dead. That was unnecessary, young lady. So what was it that inspired you to make stuff like this? Huh? Yeah, well, uh, 
I know this will sound generic, but for me, it was purely just a flash of inspiration. <laughs> oh, really? I need to ask, though. I couldn't help but notice the clothes you're wearing. <laughs> it's not something you can get just anywhere, is it? Oh, you think? Oh, they sell clothes like these all over the place. Nothing special at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, Quad? Well, there are people still waiting for us, so we should be taking our leave. <laughs> you have to go? I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't have more here to offer. Oh, not at all. The tea was lovely. Listen, uh, you know how my dad was talking about that flash of inspiration before? Well, that was a big fat lie. A lie? A while back, my dad picked up this weird hunk of iron that shone like the sun. It was really huge, too. He said something about it falling out of the sky. Fell from the sky? Like the sorcery globe? Yeah, probably. And, um... What? Listen, Reyna, you're probably totally jealous of me right now, right? You don't have to hide it. It's not like I mind having a rival or anything. Wait, I... It's not... I'm telling you, it's okay. I mean, you do have a thing for Claude, don't you? Oh, of course not. Don't be silly. Oh, so no problem then. There is a problem. A big one. And what would that be, hmm? Well, I mean... Hmm, so why? What's the big deal? I... I just... Oh! The sorcery globe! We've got the sorcery globe to think about. Listen, Priestess. We're about to set off on a journey to investigate the sorcery globe, okay? I'm sorry, but we don't have the time to preoccupy ourselves with you. Oh, hold it there, you two. So you guys are gonna go check out the sorcery globe? Yeah, that's right. Then let me go with you. Come on, take me along, please. I... Uh, we can't let you join us just because you want to. Come on, why can't I go too? We're friends, aren't we? Whoa, whoa, since when were we friends? We've always been friends as far as I'm concerned. Are you trying to deny it? That's not what we're saying, no. What's the problem then? I mean, the sorcery globe fell out of the sky too, didn't it? If I can find it and take it back home, I bet I can use it to make even better stuff than ever before. Besides, you're the only folks I know who'll treat me like a normal girl. Priestess. Really, Claude? Fine, might as well, I guess. Woohoo! I got a few things I need to take care of, okay? I'll join you guys when you're ready to leave town. Go ahead, I'll catch up.
idea what to bring. It's my first real adventure and all. Are you ready now? Yep. Ready as I'll ever be. Did you say goodbye to your father? <laughs> yeah. It was kind of embarrassing, though. Hey! I've seen this girl before. Are you sure about this, Reyna? I hope you don't regret it later. Oh yeah, I still need to introduce myself. My name is Priestess. I'm gonna be joining you guys starting today. So, nice to meet you all. We ready to go then? 
You. you didn't have to call me stubborn. Why are you acting so weird, Reyna? You're being awfully sensitive today. Oh, I am not. See? Now you're angry again. I am not angry. Look, calm down. All I'm asking you is if Claude has a girlfriend or not. What's so wrong with that? What's wrong with it is I don't know. What makes you think I'd have any idea?
don't have a girlfriend. What? When did you show up, Claude? Uh, about the point where she told you to stop being so stubborn, I think. Oh. Sorry, ladies, but there's no one to get jealous over since I'm single right now. What? That's not what I expected at all. Lucky! What do you mean? <laughs> That's a secret. And with that, let the games begin. May the best girl win, Reyna. What? Why me? Priestess, don't get the wrong idea here. It's okay. You can admit it, Reyna. Besides, the more competition there is, the hotter things get by the end of it, you know? Um, Priestess, what's going on here? What's this about competition? Oh, I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. Seriously, could someone fill me in on what this is all about? Don't look at me. What brings you here? Looking to buy some jam? You too, Priestess? You got it! I figured it'd be a good souvenir to bring home to my dad. Good idea. It's something that you can keep for a long time, so it'll still be good when you get back. Exactly. So anyway, that's why I'm here. What kind of jam did you buy for him, Priestess? Hmm, which do you think? If you can guess which one, I'll buy you some too. Hmm, let me think. Maybe something a bit different, like blueberry jam. Aw, oh, that wasn't it? The correct answer is hot pepper jam. What? I said hot pepper jam. Aren't you listening? Uh, is, is that even edible? How should I know? It's not like I'm the one who's going to be eating it. Don't worry. I'm sure it's edible. Why would they be selling it otherwise? It'll probably knock your taste buds for a loop, though.
Hmm, this looks interesting. You think? <laughs> I knew you had an eye for quality. This is a top-of-the-line music box. One that you won't find anywhere else. Hmm. Something of this class would normally cost you up to 2,000 full. But I've got a special deal going today just for you. Only 100 full. How about it? Wow, what a bargain. Yes, what a bargain. You're a smart young man, aren't you? Why don't you buy this for your lady friend here? She'll be overjoyed, I guarantee it. Um, well, it's not like we're anything like that, or anything, but... Is something wrong, Ashton? No, 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 I'm right as the mail. <laughs> well, what'll it be? You buying or not? You may not get another chance at this deal. I'll take it. Superb, superb, my boy. And since you've got such a pretty little girl by your side, I'm going to give you an even better deal. 98 full, just for you. Oh boy, thanks a lot, sir. All right, here's your music box, and here's your change, 20,000 full. Thanks. 20,000 full? Shouldn't that be two full? Oh, but he only gave you two full, didn't he? No, I, uh... He was just making a joke, Priestess. But you said you'd be giving us 20,000 full, didn't you? That's just a little trademark of mine, miss. What? So, what, you were, like, lying to us? You shouldn't lie to your customers like that, right, Ashton? Uh... Hang in there, Ashton. Think about it, Priestess. I bought something that cost 98 full, and I paid the man 100 full for it. That means I get two full in change, right? But the guy didn't say that. He said 20,000 full. He's a big liar. That's just what I'm saying, miss. It's just a little bit of shop humor. You lied, mister. I heard you say 20,000 full. Clear as day. You lied. All right, all right. I definitely said it. You, you got me there. Here, here's the remaining 19,998 full. That makes 20,000 full, yeah? Huh? But, but I can't take this. Nah, nah, it's fine. Besides, I'm the one at fault here. Does that work for you, little lady? Yeah. I'm never gonna mess with Priestess again.
like it very much. Do you usually like wearing perfume? Um, uh, I've never used it in my life. That stuff smells weird. That's too bad. It'd be perfect for a girl as cute as you are. Is there a special man in your life by any chance? Yeah, there is. Really? That's wonderful! I've actually just finished creating a perfume that makes the man of your dreams fall in love with you. What do you think? I've got a special deal going on right now. It's yours for only 1,200 full. Only 1,200 full? A pretty reasonable price, I'm sure you'll agree. How about you give it a try? Hmm... I'll pass. There's no need to deny it. You deserve it. Yeah, but I probably shouldn't rely on stuff like this. That's not how you find real love. Don't be shy. Just give it a try. I've got a free sample available right now. You can try it at no risk. Well, all right. I'm just testing it, though. If you'll excuse me, then. Symbology is the greatest thing in the world. Nothing else comes anywhere close. Look, the symbology age is over, okay? We're entering a great era of machinery soon. An age where everyone will have equal access to power. But there's no limit to what symbology can do. Too bad I can't show him what my super punch is capable of. I hate dealing with kids. <laughs> you got that right. Don't I, though? The wiring has to connect over there. What? There's gonna be too much power on that circuit. It's gonna melt the solder right off. Just stop whining and try it. It'll be fine. You think so? Oh, hey there, Claude! Good to see you again. Welcome back. Am I interrupting something? No, not at all. I was just thinking about stopping for some tea, actually. Uh, care to join us, by the way?
Well, don't mind if I do. Excellent. Then I'll go get the pot boiling. Uh, take Claude inside for me, could you, Priestess? right -o. Yeah, I've got some fancy jam tea on the pot today. Jam tea? Whoa, that's way too girly for you, Pop. Why don't you just stick to the regular old green tea? You don't have to try to fit in with me or anything. <laughs> well, you don't have to put it like that, Princess. I'm just trying to be hip and groovy. You know, down with the kids. Nobody says groovy anymore, Pop. Just you. All right, all right. Let's just try to enjoy the tea, okay? Yeah, I'm ready for some tea. Well, I'm sorry you had to see us argue like that. We had any jam around the house? When did you get that? What are you talking about? You're the one who bought it for me. Hi, you mean the jam I brought back from Salva? That's the one. Uh, go ahead, Claude. <laughs> Drink it while it's hot. Certainly. Thank you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What are you yelling about now, Priestess? I, uh, oh no, it's nothing. What a weirdo. Whoa! What the heck? Priestess? What is the meaning of this? Guess there's no hiding it anymore. That's Salva's famous hot pepper jam.
Did you come to look for a book too, Claude? Yep, you too, Reyna? Yes, there's a book I want to find. What are you reading, Reyna? Ah! Don't sneak up on me like that! Sorry, sorry! I was just wondering what you were reading is all. You mean this? Yeah, what book is it? Huh, university study. A how-to guide? Yeah, I've been interested in going to college for a while now. Hmm, I didn't know you wanted to go to school, Reyna. I'm not at that point yet. I'm just curious about what it's like. Besides, I can't exactly make the commute from Arlie at Alinga every day. Yeah, I guess you're right. I know. How about I help you with your studies? Huh? If you're curious about college, then that means you want to continue studying, right? But you don't really need a university for that, Reyna. You can study whatever you want, as long as you've got a teacher to help you. Guess you don't trust me. I had pretty good grades in school, you know. Oh no, it's not that. I was just so happy that you offered. Well then, lead away, Professor Kenny. Professor? <laughs> okay then, where shall we begin? And that's how it works. Do you understand it? Hmm, that's really interesting. That's enough for today, I think. Thanks, Claude. Thank you.